So my audio equipment isn't working. Um, I'll just use the laptop mic, um, which is kind of shitty. I'm sorry. Um, on the weekend, I worked for the first time in months because I had to like rip everything out and get stuff done because I, I'll be traveling next week and the demo just needs to be finished um, that I'm going to submit to Steam Next Fest. Um, on Monday, what I had arrived at was a kind of radical reduction, where it was like, okay, I'm just going to remove all screens except for the gameplay, like just going 180 degrees from the kind of like maximalism of the last two months to just go like, let's just cut everything. There's only gameplay. And then every other functionality is going to be in the menu. Um, and so there needs to be a new way to display which level you're on and like a lot of like stuff about the animations and there's there's you know like then if, if we do it like that we can do a specific type of secret um and i'm going to remove all of the achievements and i just um, on, on on monday i made like a very extensive documentation of like how the game could look um based on the on the cutting i had already done um and then on tuesday i just started to work on that and the implications started to kind of become visible of just, just having of just gameplay but it was a lot of like technical work to get it um, functioning so um, in the evening of Tuesday I wanted to test the game and I realized that I couldn't export it because something was wrong with the uh, NWJS whatever stuff um, really kind of like driving home the fact that I should have been exporting the game like every week <laughs> I should have been like I, I always tested the game myself from the editor, which has some kind of like, there's small differences there. It's just, and if there is a problem, I can just restart very easily. So I, by not exporting the game and by not playing the game as a thing that I cannot change anymore, I kind of like did a huge disservice to myself, I think. Um, on Wednesday, I just kept working on like removing all of the, all of the stuff. Um, but that was working so much now that I could already feel that without an in-between screen, the game would be empty. Like, there, something would be missing, there would not be enough contrast, it just wasn't working. So I added in the screen where you get the items. It's just like in the trailer, um, right now, where you get like, plonk, 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 and you get three items. And those are your items, right? And that's the only screen you press jump and you just go to the gameplay. Um, but then it was like, okay, so even with that screen back in, it's still a little bit empty. It feels like it's lacking something that, you know, like something is just missing. And I had this kind of like story um, playing plan where it's like, oh, you lose your head and then you get items for heads and then at the end you find your head again. And that was mentioned in the comments in the last video. That's kind of a boring thing that doesn't really add anything. Um, I agree with that. And what became apparent is that some experiments with painting, with like pixel art painting, kind of like going like with like globs of paint, um, that those paintings would fit kind of well in there. Like it, it, it would make sense to like add something alien and different in there. And the paintings I, I, I've been experimenting with a few months ago, I just started doing that again and put them in there and it felt really nice. Um, so now the game is a lot less, more reduced. A lot of the functionality of the main menu is now just in the options. Um, but there is contrast between the gameplay sections. Um, first day was the day of the concrete to-do list. Like, like all my notes for that day is just like to-do, done. Um, and everything I had on the to-do list is now done. It's, it's like a pretty, pretty crazy day. Just lots of small things, lots of like, oh, you know, like, Oh, this text does a weird flash when it shows up, and like this kind of like like just the the the, 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 the finicky little details that you have to do before you can release some or before you can give something to someone else. Like all of the assumptions where I'm like, oh yeah, you know, this will be like that later. Now is the time of later. <laughs> now I have to do it. Um, so on first day, I got the demo done. It's like a, I call it like a pre pre demo because the demo will actually only go live in like October on Steam. I'm just testing it right now and I have to like submit it to processes. So before I'm submitting it to the process, I'm testing it. Um, I sent it out to some people. Feedback was extremely useful. Thanks, thanks to everyone who sent the feedback. And now on Friday, which is today, I made the pre-demo, <laughs> which you know I will now send out to more people or like um, you if you if you want it. Um, if you want the demo. Um, send me an email. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to do this. Like, like my email address is on my website. The link to my website is in the description. Um, I don't want to make it public, um, so I have to do it through email. Um, and when this, like, I have to leave super, super soon. 
I have uh, social engagement and I cannot respond to the email until like uh, in the evening or in the night. So the responses to the emails are going to take, take some time. Um, because while I've been very productive this week, like, like, like the, the stuff has been happening, you know, like, like when you cut something away, suddenly um, there's this hole and then you just fit it, you know, or you realize it doesn't need filling. Um, or, you know, like, like stuff has been happening and every day I've stopped working feeling like, oh, I'm finished, you know, I did the thing I was supposed to do today and it's actually going in the right direction. And it's like, the, the, the big question is, is how, <laughs> how do I get to this moment quicker? How do I never leave this state of, of, of getting something done? Because this is... You know, or is it even possible to maintain the state for a long time? Is this the reward for two months of, of slogging and horrible, slow progress? Is, is, but I don't think it has to be. I, I, I think, you know, this is, this, is, this is what I have to investigate with the next uh, project. How consistently can I finish something? Like, how can I stay in this zone? I, I, I first really went into this place with producer and I was like, I have to get back there. And, and I tried, but my approach of just working consistently didn't work. Because like while I was still working consistently, I was not getting concrete feedback. I was not finishing stuff. I was just working. Um, where with the other productions, I just stopped working and therefore didn't get any feedback. With Mosolina, I kept working, but I didn't show it to anyone, so I didn't get any feedback. So it's, 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 it, it should really be the, the kind of like feedback cycle that just never can stop. Um, maybe that's too intense. I don't know, but that is really what I'm very interested in checking out the next time. But yeah, I I just have to go now. I have to leave. Like I made some commitments to some friends, and I have to just go. <laughs> Which is you know combined with the audio equipment malfunctioning. That's kind of a shit shit devlog. Um, there were a lot of um, not really questions, but more like discussions of um, shifting directions and and getting lost and how necessary it is and all of that. And I will get back to that. Uh, there's just no time today. I'm very sorry. Um, thanks for your continued attention. And please uh, wishlist producer 2021 <laughs> on Steam um, so that uh, two years ago I would have been happy. Or one year ago? I don't even know when it was. Who cares? Bye-bye. Uh,